Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Can you hear me? I can hear you. So were you able, were y'all able to hear me just a few minutes ago? Uh-uh. Not at all? No, not at all. Nothing that I just said? No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so let me do this. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and drop the disclaimer. Okay, good, because I hadn't added myself to the stream, y'all. I apologize for that. So basically, you guys, this site is for education and entertainment purposes. Therefore, everything that I say after this is allegedly. So we're going to get ahead and drop into it. The first video that was done. Um, in the interview, there were a lot of a lot of details dropped. I talked about, and I know you all couldn't hear me. I apologize for that. On the screen that I shared, if you all saw the elderly lady that spoke out and said she lost $7,500 with this couple. This couple, uh, LaShonda and Marlon Moore, a.k.a. Dre, a.k.a. DJ ASAP from 106 and Park. Um, also, they were on the Oprah Winfrey Network, uh, family or fiance. Okay. Now, in the um, this attorney's law ad, and we talked about that in the first video when they spoke about how there were levels to it, um, and they spoke uh, about the water, um, the the earth, the fire, and you know the levels, right? But since since you and your husband were actual victims of um, LaShonda and Marlon, go ahead again, because in the first video, we were kind of limited and we couldn't really talk a lot on, on what exactly happened. So break it down for us, sis, and tell us blow for blow again, update and recap us on LaShonda Moore and Marlon Moore on this pyramid scheme that they cooked up, basically her. Yeah, y'all have to excuse me. About two o'clock today, my dad's brother passed away from COVID. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. I'm, if if it kind of goes in and out, I'm driving to take food to my cousins. Um, I'm so sorry. Sis. Yeah, he he had he was vaccinated. That's what's so crazy. Um, I'm, oh wow! So he was vaccinated. He was fully. Oh my goodness! Yeah, but anyway, um, so how it it originally started? My husband had came home, and one of his clients, who he trusted, he's been a client for his of his for a very long time, came, mm -hmm. and this was doing <clears throat> this was doing COVID and said that there was um, a financial investment opportunity that he came across. He, she showed where he had been paid and you know, invited us to do um, a Zoom call where they explained how things worked. Um, they had testimonies and people. And there were actually a couple of people that with me doing my research that I saw that I knew, not directly but indirectly people that were involved in it as well and so what the deal was is this is how it worked you put you pay 14.25 um and you were guaranteed as the cycle went to be paid um 11.5 i think it's 11,000 whatever 14.25 is times eight i think that's 11,200 400 or something like that Mm -hmm. But but anyway, um, so what you had to do was you they initially told you that they would give you free fires, which the fires, how the how it, how the, the pyramid is what I'm calling it now, because at the time they called it crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. um, how it went was there there you have um, eight win eight fire positions. And then um let me see. Uh, actually, I thought I had sent it to you how it's, it's diagrammed. Yes, yes. But you have the fire, the wind, the earth, and the water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So what you would do is, so if they gave you two free fires, so like for me and my husband, we invested 14 25 right? Mm -hmm. So 
we didn't have anybody to invite in. And I was, me personally, was not going to tell anybody until I, until I had proof and was paid and that this wasn't a scam because I didn't want to involve my family or friends in that type of financial burden, um, considering we were in the middle of a pandemic. So, um, so you invest the fourteen twenty five. They gave you two free fires. Um, from those two free fires, because in order, if you so if you pay, if you pay in, who you're paying is the person in the water, which is the the middle of the of the the circle, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so when you when you initially pay to get in, it's eight people that's paying that one person in the middle fourteen twenty five, which gets the eleven thousand and some change. So once you did that, the board split into two more boards mm-hmm. where on everybody that's the eight people that's on that one board as a fire splits and goes into another board as the four wins because each win had to have four fire had to have two fires. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So the, the win, which is the four people underneath above the fire, each one of them had to have two fires. Mm-hmm. in order to progress and move on to the earth position. Okay. And so what you, when the board split, everybody that was a fire now is in a position of the wind, right? Mm-hmm. So you go to the wind, the board splits, and it's you and four other people go to um, separate boards. Mm-hmm. Right? And so then the fire, whomever was the who is in the wind position now, like me, I'm, I would be in the wind. I paid my 14 to get in, the board split. Now I'm in the wind position. I have to have two fry, fires. So what they were promising is you signed up, we'll give you your two free fires to get you started, right? Mm-hmm. So if I get to the wind position, I don't have to recruit anybody else because they're boosting me to where, and the, the purpose for that was so that you could have an actual testimony to show people that you actually this actually works. Do you right, see what I'm saying? Right, right. And so what happened was, from my knowledge and my research on this, people at, at, at some point they were selling fires for $700 a piece. Yes. Because they had ran out of, of people because from what I my research shows and tells me is that they were using the people that were in the university, which were people that were waiting to actually get on boards, right? They mm-hmm. had their money, they just mm-hmm. ready to go. And, and what they usually were in the university were people that like myself, I invited my two people in. Right. So before they can get in, they go to the university and you know, they have some training. I'm talking about this shit was like a enterprise, like in the yeah. universe, you got training going on, you got motivational stuff going on all of that's in a university you in a university in the the band app you can't see the the main group because now you're in the waiting room basically okay so what they were doing is when i say they i mean um the two founders and all of their admin team they were using because people were saying like my fires are gone like they they're i talked to my people and they said that they were called and they were already put on boards. Like I was saving them for myself. To so use. allegedly they were stealing the people out from under there when they were recruiting them. They exactly. were basically stealing them. To move their board. To move their board. Yes, ma'am. And so then they started selling them when it was like, we don't have any more free fires. I, we never got any free fires or none of that because you know, you would request the free fires and then you would never get them. I mean, and they right. had a, re- a system to request your fires. They, when I say it was like well organized, um, whoever was originally behind it was a genius, actually. And so, go ahead. No, I was going to say so. Lashonda Moore, she's, she's the one that's putting the claim on it to be the genius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so she's the mastermind because, behind all this. Yeah, because she said, This is my idea. This is mm-hmm. my, 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 my. This is my baby. Yes, you've seen videos. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so at, at some point, you know, people started kind of because they would have meeting, we would have Zoom calls and then they would go live on this band app. And then, you know, she's being very condescending and kind of threatening 
to say mm-hmm. you can't say anything bad about Ben or you can't post on social media because the selling point for most people, I know the selling point for all, for everybody, that's the reason why people took money out of their savings, retirements or whatever, because the selling point, because they had a bent Bible, which was like a handbook, right? With the mm-hmm. rules and all that. So mm-hmm. in there, the main reason why people invested so much money and people say, why were they so stupid, so dumb? But their selling point and in black and white was if at any time that you changed your mind, you will be issued a full refund of whatever money you invested. And that's the reason, whole reason why people were and trusting th- Exactly. Them. <laughs> so these were not just the run of the mill people because 1425 during the pandemic or any other time is a lot to invest in something yes. that may or may not happen. So these were professional people. There were some elderly veterans. Um, um, celebrities. Because yeah, we celebrities. About story, uh, from yeah. power. Uh, there was, there was some, yeah, there were celebrities. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. No, so okay. after so after that, like along down the line came this. They stopped moving the boards for a while. They said they were reorganizing it. She said she had came up with this genius app app that was gonna make everything so much easier. You'd be able to go in and in and enter your own um fires, blah 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 blah. So it was like six weeks and nothing happened. People were waiting on boards to move, they were waiting on, you know, because you're sitting stagnant and not yeah. moving. And this is like six weeks or so with no no moving at all. And they were coming up with this app. So the app came out, which is um, uh, Connect Me is the name mm-hmm. of the app. Mm-hmm. And so it had everybody's personal information in there. How many boards had actually moved? How many were pending? How many people were in the universe? How many mm-hmm. members? At one point, it was 9,000 and something members. Oh, wow. And probably no, another two or members. so, uh, probably another two or some so in the university waiting. That's a so, lot. That is a mm-hmm. lot of people. Yeah. And um, a, another thing is they were, this this whole situation was only for people of color, African-Americans. So basically uh, they preyed on the African-American community allegedly during uh, a worldwide, during a worldwide pandemic. pandemic, you guys, and that People is took me. their savings, their yes. their everything to invest in this, with the idea that if at any point you can get your money back. So how they kept this quiet for so long was because they always preached, and she would always say and get in these meetings and have her her um, her um, admin teams. To Mm -hmm. say you can't post on social media, you can't say anything bad about them in the ban app because the ban app itself, they created groups like there was um, black business owners, there were prayer groups, there were um, your your sorority groups, uh, you know, there were um, Mm -hmm. all kinds of different little groups that where people could could communicate and almost like a social media app almost with different broke down so. You couldn't say anything bad about them in the chats because they had they created the groups, the, the different bands, so they had access to every last one of them. And so yeah. they monitored and had their they called them um they called them quality control, their QCs mm-hmm. to monitor monitor people's conversations to if you said anything bad about them, you risk the chance of not getting your money back. And see that to, that's like blackmailing someone. It to definitely get, was. Get the because, fuck up and don't say anything. Because at this point, people had invested five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars. And so, who's gonna be quiet about that? People, people get know. killed over thirty dollars. Let let alone thousands of dollars. You did invest in money, and, and you've already guaranteed that if I invest X amount of dollars, I would get in return X amount back. You know, yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, a lot of people. Yeah, there was a lot of people, and so if you look on the court documentation, um, of how much money they made, and their 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 whole fight is that nobody directly gave them money, but you are the enterprise. You created this group. You benefited from it because some of the people in, the, in their um 
uh, her included, her kids, her husband, her sisters, her, her, okay, her sisters, her, her in-laws. Brothers, yeah. Bro yeah, everybody. And then all of everybody. her, it was like 16 members of her, um, 16 people in her, um, as far as her, um, what do you call it? Her admin team. It was that many people. And then you think about their families and their in-laws and, and the you know, children like that. And the children, because you could use children. And so when yeah. they created this, when they created the app, it was $85 a month on top of that you have to pay on top of what you already invested. And the $85 was for everybody. Like if you had yourself, your husband and your three kids, that was eighty-five dollars for each one of each person. I'll file you. Wow. A month that you had to pay Fair for the supposedly maintenance. Yeah, the supposed maintenance for the app for the app that they had created. And so, what did the maintenance per se include with it, that? It included access to. It included access to all of your your boards. It included access to be able to to enter your own fires as you got them so that you can have kept the boards move fast mm -hmm. so it created a, a it, it was for that wow oh. that is that is so crazy to me you guys it is the more i um listen at how they strategically created such a scheme you guys and have not been charged for it because allegedly you guys they can't really be charged for this because they you know the people they gave them the, the money yeah yeah so that's the sad part about it that they re i mean is it really a but, criminal but, charge <laughs> yes it is let me tell you if you go deeper because all the alphabet people involved, FBI, CIA, F FTC, all those people are involved. But if you go deeper, no, they can't be in trouble for, no one forced any of us to give them money, but they created the whole platform. That is the, uh -huh. mm -hmm. that's the illegal part. I think the also because, the, go the ahead, I think we made the, the video. Illegal. Yeah, yeah, oh, the videos are damning, that's, that, because they were trying to tell people how to avoid paying taxes on the money they were making. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. all of that is recorded and, and that that's what's going to get them is they created this platform. Trust and believe me, um, not only financially are they going to be a, a, um, um, in trouble for this, but the FBI is now involved trying to figure out a way. I mean, it's deeper than the surface that we see. Yeah. Um, I don't know what other trust me they're gonna figure out a way yeah to make them criminally responsible um because there are people if you look on um there are some people actually from arkansas where she's from it was a yes. group similar to this they all yes. went to jail like yeah. prison like it, this is not something that they think they may think that they're not going to be because they still run around here buying benzes and you know, doing all their own thing. And I'm sure she put money yes. in different accounts and all of that. They Allegedly. made millions. They made mm -hmm. millions. This is, oh, this yeah. shit ain't, a, the, this part ain't alleged. They made I'm millions. Not, it's not, they made 40, they made 40 to be exact. Oh, $40 million in a six month period of time, you guys. That this, is I'm saying allegedly, but this, but the facts are there, you guys. This and was only a six month period. This was only a six month period, you guys. $40 million is a lot of money. And you know. say, for instance, if you got 15 boards, you know, they had people in their family that was alleged. Well, I, allegedly, and I'm going to say alleged, but they had people in their family that was, was, was quitting their job and retiring and was making so much money. Yeah. They had uh, one member, one of the, her, her, her sister's father-in-law is president of NAACP in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. So that so, is the guy by the name of, is that allegedly the, um, hold on, his name is, I got it right here, Franklin yeah. Holbrook? Yes. Hol Holbrook, that's Holbrook. him? Yes. That's him, girl. Yeah. 
So if anybody has any questions, I'll be glad to answer. I can't see the live um because again I'm driving, I just picked up this food. But if you can if they have questions, and you know, I hear people say y'all are stupid, blah blah blah. But no, I don't think that, you know, because it's it's easy when you're in the middle of a pandemic, you know, and things are being when you, you're a business owner and business are being shut down. You guys have businesses, your husband have, have a business, you have a business, they're being shut down. So it's it's easy for someone to, especially when you have other celebrities, big high profile people involved that are making it be trustworthy. You understand? Yeah, because and then it was so organ. Like, listen, oh, I'm not, you you can't. I'm not the person that file for anything. Like, I don't, I don't, and and it took a lot of convincing for me to even allow my husband to do it. And I just yeah. finally said, bro, look, if we lose any money, I, that's on you. You know, you know how you like to buy shoes every week or whatever. No, you go no, no. If we lose anything, <laughs> you can just hang that up, homeboy, until you get me till we get that back in the bank account. So yeah. um so yeah, it, it, it was you just had to be there. Like mm -hmm. and, but I'm gonna tell you something. Honestly, you can talk to my husband and he can confirm this from the gate, from the very first time I heard her speak, my spirit was just in a doing flip-flops yeah because i said it's something about this little bitch here yeah that ain't right <laughs> she yeah. is very arrogant condescending um how can you be in your early 30s and you talking to people in their 50s 60s that's then lived a life that's better that's veterans that are elderly and you on here talking as if you mm -hmm. talking to your children she had zero respect for her husband. And I'm going to tell you something, honestly, yeah, he's, he's, he went along with that. But I really feel bad for him because he had a life outside of this before he got entangled with her that yeah. was very successful and positive. Yes, he did. And, and I, I agree. I feel, I feel bad for him. him as well. I, feel, I agree. Yeah, I really do. Because now he's tangled. I mean, you can even see from that show who, you know, how... He's just he his personality is one that doesn't like confrontation and whatever the case. And he he's got this really aggressive person that he's gotten himself involved with and married to and all that. And so when you are when you when you I like that, you know, when you just have maybe one ball instead of two, you tend to find women that and, and I, I don't even know why he even got involved in this, how he even thought it was rational. But I know it was because he couldn't have never made that much money DJing one on Simpson Park or nowhere else. Exactly. That is so true. So <laughs> not only was it his wife convincing, but greed was the reason for him because he stopped doing what he had been doing for years in the, in this celebrity world, knowing all these people and doing all this. You just cut it out to be partners with her in this criminal enterprise and I just feel, so, but, and I'm going to tell you guys something. People took their whole retirement. There's some people yes. that have died from yes. uh, heart attacks. There's pe two people that tried to commit suicide yep. because they spent their mortgage. They spent their, yep. their life savings yes. in the middle of a pandemic yes. with the guarantee, with this whole concept, and then was not lost their homes and wasn't able to, to pay their bills. And then ev the world is shut down. Exactly. I saw that, you know, even one of the victims, two victims reached out to me during the first of uh, what well, after the first video that we did with the interview, two people, two victims reached out to me. You guys, one of them said that they are um, more than willing to speak with me after the, this is over because the because of the FTC uh, that's involved and the FBI that's involved in, in the case, you guys, it's a lot of things they can't speak on right now. But rest assured, we're going to keep talking about this. They're yeah. not going to get away with it at no, all, and, you guys. And I, I have personal connection and talk the source of the person who started this lawsuit. And there are some things that She's told me I can't say, and she knows that she can't even tell me. But know that this is far from being over. It'll be national news again. If you Google their names right now, it comes up on every media yep. outlet you can think of. Yeah. So when this all comes, 
it, it's been on every news station. I know people probably saw it and kind of like didn't pay any attention. But mm. when this these char- there's lawsuits against them in Arkansas, Atlanta, I mean, at Arkansas, Georgia, Texas. Um, California as well. California. There were in California. There's, there's New York. There's, there's New York. There's Georgia. There's Arkansas. There's Texas. And a few more others. Because this was not just set just in the, the South or whatever uh, on our on this region this was worldwide mm-hmm. it was worldwide you guys and i'm also i dropped the link because if you all anybody want to come on the panel and share their thoughts you're more than welcome to come on the panel over here is this is the house of sin said we we speak on it we talk on it you guys if you know anybody that have been scammed by this couple you can also share this link, share this live with them. Let them know. I'm going to also share in the comments that app link so that if they want to join that app and stay updated, they can do that as well, you all, because and, this and, is horrible. And let me just say this, because this could have been resolved and people would have went away because mm-hmm. they knew they knew it was over after they had drained the swamp of all the people. Because at this point, I can't tell you about investing your $1,400 if I have no proof uh, that this exactly. actually works. So after a certain point, people couldn't get other people in no more because mm-hmm. you said that you was going to do this and this and this happened. And you've already convinced your aunt, your uncle, your grandma and all them to spend all their money and invest in here and nothing's moving. Now, factual is that some people were paid out. Yeah, and That is no lie. But at a yeah. certain, but that only lasted maybe sixty days, if yeah. that long. And then after that, it was officially done because they had used up everybody. That at this point, people, there's not even no more people you can bring in for them to take. Yeah, yeah. And so, people were well, actually they being paid some people out so to make it look yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I do want to say that it's really sad that they use religion and um our nationality and ethnicity to scam us and that's the headliner for all the uh allegations and the charges is yeah they scam the black community with religion Mm -hmm. and their ethnicity in the middle of a national worldwide pandemic yeah that's that's the part that really gets to me you all you know, just think about that. When that first hit in March of last year, you guys, when we didn't know what what was about to happen, everything was closing. You got people like LaShonda Moore and Marlon uh, Moore. She manipulated him allegedly into creating this whole scam. Yeah. And scam and got celebrities involved. So allegedly... Tasha, you guys from off of and this is really I can I can go into the bent app that's this band app, you guys, and show y'all where she did comment and show where she was giving away power packages, you guys, to people that well, were junior. she had she had actually purchased the um access to the um to the program, the app, the uh, the um app and started her own group. And see, so I wonder. So is anyone suing her? Well, again, you can't. Really, it's just deep. Like, there's a lot that you you just really can't say. But it, nobody, anybody that was involved in that, they're not gonna get away with it. Just put it that way. Yeah. They're oh, going to monetary, or they're going to be criminally punished but everyone involved from the stat from the um the admins that are now you know opening their own business you know most of them where if you go to their social media pages if you know them personally they doing it they're opening businesses here they're traveling they're doing this this and that see because they probably made most of them probably made a million dollars oh yeah made more than a million dollars and i guarantee you lashonda and this allegedly i'm gonna say this this is just my opinion on this part i think lashonda and dre have their money's overseas they don't have all i know that the fbi allegedly seized their the vent accounts 
that they have. Froze, don't yeah. think for a second they didn't have their own personal accounts. No, their personal people. accounts weren't weren't frozen. It was exactly. just anything associated with the Bent organization. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, um, if if a person is smart enough to come up with the kind of scam she came up with, trust and believe me, she's smart enough. But another thing is the problem is that everything was done electronically through um, Cash App. So that's that's fraud there. Oh, absolutely. Your cash, you, you're doing um in an uh what is it called it's called something when you do um something like fraud. a wire transfer fraud yeah fraud. wire fraud yeah wire, wire fraud, fraud. fraud. And and then money tax laundering evasion. yeah money, yeah because not, tax evasion mm -hmm. because they were tr telling people how to avoid paying taxes the government gives you a two million dollar you file it this this ain't nothing that now this was something they got videos mind you people because they were dealing with smart people a lot of people were screen recording and snap and and doing snapshots and saving shit. Yeah, yeah. Because yes. they mm -hmm. knew in their in their third eye, in the back of their mind, that somebody mm -hmm. writes the situation, mm -hmm. and if they say I need to have it, I got it right here in black and white. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are embarrassed to even talk about this. Yeah. I noticed that when uh, we did the first video, like I said, the people that were even reaching out to me, they I'm were very, em they were embarrassed, it. very embarrassed. They didn't want to come forth and say anything on it, you know, too much, even but though like, I knew. Yeah, but like mm -hmm. I say, like I have a tendency to say still now, I feel stupid. But no, not but you really. shouldn't though, you know what I'm saying? Because at but the end really, of the day, yeah. no, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't. But but I don't give a damn. See, listen, I ha I would have had to have three or four pay payments in order for me to put my savings you're breaking up on the sis anything i'd have to been paid out four or five times and i know so that 1400 dollars that we lost the way i mean yes I, we can Hello? hear you yes you hear me? yes okay yeah so yeah i just i just you know it's a lot but <sighs> it is what it is but it's not over, guys. And it is anytime, far from over. Yeah, but anytime someone comes to you and say something about investing this or doing this, take it from me. Um, if it sounds too good to be true, like we've always been taught, yeah. it normally is. Normally but a lot is. of people, uh, the pandemic, that wasn't normal. Like yeah. people, people were not in their right minds, I can yeah, exactly. say, because you were panicking because you don't know mm -hmm. how you're going to if i have to spend all my retirement we don't know how long the world gonna be shut down if i gotta spend all my retirement then what am i gonna do so mm -hmm. you know here comes this opportunity and my cousin's been paid out she said it worked she showed me her bank account where it was she was actually being cash out fourteen hundred dollars from each from eight different people so if she's been paid out a time or two then it works so i'm gonna take this eight thousand dollars and i'm gonna give me eight spots mm -hmm. and then if all eight of them spots pay out the eleven thousand dollars i've got my retirement money back plus some mm -hmm. people lost their homes do you hear mm -hmm. me because it is and then think, lives. yeah think about the relationships lost with the family the members that just broken. say Right, just yeah. say I would have went and got my mom or my kids involved, and then then they look they pissed at me because I got their money took, you know, taken, you know. Well, yeah. And so and their I relationship would be gone and lost because now they they looking at me sideways like, well, you the one told us this shit worked, you know what I'm saying? So just imagine the relationships that fell apart because See, your girl you know, is smart. Your I ain't caught. Your girl is smart. I ain't call you. I ain't even call my mama. You I ain't tell didn't. nobody. I'm going to tell you didn't. why. Because before I bring my people into some bullshit, I got to know for sure. Yeah, and you got to test it out. Test the waters yourself. And exactly. Because if because I'm being stupid don't mean I want my people to be stupid behind me. And I have to... And then, with the fact of the feeling that I felt about her... See, most times when she talked, I would have to either mute when she was talking or just get the pertinent information because her voice made me nauseated. I swear to God, if you play some of her videos now, she's very condescending 
and very degrading, like I'm better than everybody. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, and everything is me, 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 me. And then she'll say, oh, I forgot, now my husband too. But basically me, 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 me and my kids. But then she'll catch herself and say, oh, my husband too, Dre too. Yeah, my baby. I caught, you know. I, I caught that from the show when they were on the Oprah Winfrey Network of the family or fiance, which you guys, and this is, I'm saying allegedly, but this is all facts. Oprah Winfrey. Free, she erased that episode, which was episode 13 of Family or Fiance. They she erased she that whole entire through the whole goddamn episode away, okay? Because y'all know don't play. She don't didn't want to have be involved in that type of bullshit in with her brand, involving um, you know, uh, surrounding her brand. So she took them off the show off the episode off of her channel but you guys you can still go on youtube and pull up bits and pieces of when they were on the show and i'm gonna tell you all before they got married her uh his people did not want him to marry her his best friend was there i think it was his uh i think it's his sister and, and yeah, his, his and mom. mom and when i tell you all she it was so sad because he Dre broke down in tears, you guys, because this this bitch manipulated him into uh, not being best friends with his best fucking friend. Just shutting down the relationship with them. She goes back and tell Dre that uh, Brandon allegedly, which is the is Dre's best friend, called her little girl one of the little girls ugly. Okay, and we're gonna let, and then we're gonna talk about this for just with that's a brief second. That's not what he said. That's not what he said at all. And so this is how manipulative she is, and this is coming all into play of how it led to the bent scams in the first damn place, y'all. I'm gonna take this shit back before they even got married. How manipulative this bitch was. Okay, now they were on this show. As they were on the show, you guys. They each had questions. They would, they would, her family would go with Dre and Dre family would go with her and they had to ask them questions. Okay. Now, in one of the questions, her, his family asked her, why do you feel the need to uh, push upon him um, being the foster parent or adopting the two girls that were hers? They was not his. Yeah, because yeah. he don't have any children. He don't have he any have children. children. She made him adopt those two girls. And the family had an issue with that. You know what? This is what she said. And it's all allegedly. But again, I'm saying allegedly, but guys, it's out there and it's on YouTube and you can pull it up. Okay. Um, on fiance, family or fiance, go and pull up LaShonda and Marlon Moore. You can see bits and pieces of, of it, and you all will see exactly what I'm what we're talking about on how manipulative she is. So let's move fast forward. Once she manipulated him to marry her, before that, she got, got the best friend out the way. She got it, the sister and the mama. She got all, everybody that was close to him out the way so that he could only focus on her and her two girls. Okay? Let's start there. Hmm. So not even six months, you guys. And and, and, and came up with the bent scam. Came up with the bent scam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you got She was in a supposedly. She, supposedly, she was in a she. She got the concept from another group where she was in like that, and so she just took it a whole another level. Well, to be honest with you, sis, and I ain't gonna lie, you guys, she, she, she really we lost this. Okay? She'll she'll uh get the link come back in. To be honest with you guys, and I'm just gonna keep it real, the bitch was smart, and she and she was very smart, and I can't even really be mad at her. Though I'm only mad at her because she preyed on our community. Like why her our community? You played on the black people, your own people. Why us? You could have did that shit to some other fucking race. I wouldn't get a fuck about that. I mean, I'm not trying to be biased or whatever, but I'm just saying. I'm just keeping 
keeping this shit real. They stick to their kind. I'm sticking to mine. Period, poop. Okay? She was very, yes, exactly. She was very fucking smart. She thought of this whole plan. Got him involved and got his, uh, the celebrities involved so that people will be more trustworthy of this scheme. And she finessed the shit out of a lot of people. And you, you really can't be yep. mad at her for doing that. I just hate that it was us she did it to. That's all I'm saying. Like, you could have did this. I mean, you really hate the player. Yeah. The community yeah. do that shit. But you know why? The, rich, the white folks would have failed for that bullshit. That's why. That is why. That they may have would have fell for it, but she knew it would have been some strong repercussions behind it. Yeah, if the white folks had been involved, yeah. we would have immediate repercussions. Mm -hmm. And you know what? But, too, I'm gonna say this as well. But she mm -hmm. even said that there were people inside. Guys, people are saying this is a scam, but we got people that work for the IRS. We got people in our group that are actually members that work for the attorney general. She was saying all that. Yes. And I'm going to show you guys briefly. And we're going to take a look. I'm going to just show you guys on um, how she, her and Marlon were. And even on some videos, you guys, she would embarrass the fuck out of him. Like if oh, he was de something, demasculate him. Yes, as a man, very much so. If he would say the wrong thing that she would tell him, oh, do not don't don't I tell them that. Yeah. Don't say that. Yeah. You you need to talk to me first. It's like yeah. what? Like yeah. even if I felt that way in public, I would not demasculate my husband. At all. Not like, in the public eye like that. No, never. Not close doors, I might tear your ass I'm, up. Yeah, well, you I turn me? mine's up, but I, you'll never hear me doing it. Yeah. No. So I want to share the screen just briefly, sis. We're going we gonna to share the screen a second, and then we're going to talk about what we just saw in the video of them for just a second. Okay? okay. Check this out, you guys. I can't really hear it. It's kind of distorted. And a lot of people have a lot of You can't hear it. Yeah, uh -huh. up just a little bit. What about now? Sometimes this this community can be something else. What now? It's just the comments. How are you gonna put our people down like that? don't know what they have to go through with the texts, the phone calls, the this and the that. She's trying to, this is this is a part of the manipulation, trying to play on people's, uh, and make people feel sorry, like, are you fucking serious right now? Did you hear, could y'all hear what she was saying? Yeah, it was kind of like, could y'all hear what she was saying? I don't saying? know why you sound like a robot. Is it my phone? Maybe. Should I go out? Can the audience hear you? Because I can't see the chat right now. You can't. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Could sorry. Could you hear the video? Could you hear the video? Mm. Yeah, I heard some of it. What she was saying. What they have to go through. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the audacity of her. Yeah. 
We'll see. So I just wanted to at that point. I just wanted you guys to see a brief of how she talks. Um, you know, the manipulation again, like how, how is it that you can say, you know, you worrying about you all getting the text message coming in and uh, people complaining and in the, in the, in the phone calls. Of course, you're going to get that bitch because you got all these people money that tied the fuck up in this pyramid that you don't sit up here and promise that they would guarantee to get their money back if they, if they don't get the payout. And here we are with six months, months in, 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 into the shit and no payout. No payout, no refund. Or no fucking refund and you want to talk shit. I stopped watching her at some point. My husband would watch it, but I'd have to go in a separate room. Because it's just the, the arrogancy for me that does it. It's how she talks. And 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 this is coming back to what we were saying. She manipulated him into marrying her. She manipulated him into going along with this damn scam. And I, I guarantee you guys, I don't think he really wanted to do it. Because I don't either. You can tell a lot of times, you guys, Dre in those videos, he did not agree with a lot of shit she was saying. He but he discombobulated was most times. Sucking his ass dry, like his mama said. <laughs> but listen, also, this could have been resolved. People, you know, listen. If they would have took a million dollars, a little bit over, maybe two million dollars, because mm -hmm. all people wanted was what they invested back. They just wanted That's their it. money back. That's it. And all of this would have went away. That's it. Simple. It never would have existed. Just give people their money back. You promise a refund. It's in writing and it's on video. So that's where Period. they're hanging themselves at. It's not that, that is where they're hanging themselves at. Because if you didn't listen to this, your argument cannot be people didn't give us no money directly and we given refunds at the same time. You that that's you can't do which one is it? it I can't give you no refund if you didn't give me no money, right? Exactly. So, exactly. which one is it? Did did we not? Did people not give you money? Are you gonna do refund? So you're yeah. admitting to something when you say you're gonna refund people their money back. That's the admission yeah. of something. Yes. So that's where the criminal part come in at. There you go. There you go. So I think that's that is oh, where the everybody is involved in this. I'm sorry. What you say, sis? A, a recent with Dallas Police Department or some police department, it may have been in Arkansas. Uh, two officers were fired for recruiting people for this. Yes. Same situation, yes. girl. Yes. It was bent. Wow. It's a lot, yeah. you guys, and and and, and I'm gonna tell you all. People are are steady coming forth as victims. A lot of them don't want, like Tanya said. A lot of them don't want to come forward because uh, they it's have there. civil cases, you guys. There are a lot of civil cases have been brought against this couple. Okay. I think this couple one not older think elderly lady paid $68,000. How much was it? Sid? She invested? Uh, I think she did say 68000 like retirement. Uh-huh. Yeah. And one lady was saying the 500 but we... Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna share my screen again. I want to show you. We're gonna go back into the app because sis know exactly about the app. She's also involved yeah. in the app. I get we, can kinda, uh -huh. we can kind of go through it yeah. together. Hold on a okay. second. Let's let's sure. check it out. Let's check out the app. Who gonna again. pop me? I can say what I want to say. That um, part. <laughs> this is my money. <laughs> okay so we're not gonna we got the video okay so we have we got all these people that's posting here's one if you're an elder adult age 60 or older and lost money in bent please forward your name and total amount lost to bent scam at gmail.com okay so like you said sis they've made they even create different apps among the apps yeah, yeah. 
And when when bit was over, let me tell you, when it was officially over, people in those groups created like um like um they created other groups and started taking people's money. Because what yes. they did what Shonda said was, okay, so we we're gonna do a reset. And for those that are in these groups, if y'all want to create y'all own and kind of combine your boards so that they can get moving, you can do that. Because at first, when this was all popping and everybody and she was they was getting paid, if I find out any of y'all groups are recruiting people and creating y'all own this, and then um, I'm gonna kick y'all out with no refund. But then toward the end, when she couldn't move nothing no more, she was telling people. At least you'll get your money back. You can, y'all can create your own or kind of um, support each other. And these groups started taking advantage of people. At this point, it's your fault because why would you still invest money into something that you know ain't gonna work? Exactly. So in this in this particular post right here, sis, I want you to go over this again. You talked about it briefly because in this video here, they're justifying that $85 a month charge that you were talking about earlier for, for people in the household, even the children had to pay this $85. So let's get into one of the videos to see if we can hear this one. Okay. Okay, could you all hear that? Do you know where they were going that day? Let me tell you where they were going. Where? It was, it was his birthday. She bought him a brand new Harley. And she she um recorded it. He was she was surprising him. Wow. So they all, you know, signed. And then they told us that they were taking a break, you know, what to get everything reorganized. And then we look on their social media, they're in Jamaica. Yeah. They they just spending they spending and living lavish, and people over here having heart attacks, worried about why their money ain't moving. Yeah, they living lavish. Mm -hmm. So in they talked about that eighty five dollars. Let's go. Let's hold on. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Wait a minute. Can y'all? Can you see? Uh, let me go back. Can you see the screen? I can't see it, sis. Okay, hold on. Let me, hold on. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. So let's check out the other video. Okay. Better. Yes. So much better. Also, guys, we always talk about hey, we, me and wife, you always paying this twenty five hundred dollars a month for the Zoom call stuff, right? We got to pay twenty five hundred dollars a month for the Zoom call. Starting. Starting next week there will be no more zoom calls we will have our own we have our own zoom competitor y'all it's called connect me no more zoom calls we will be inside of connect me and connect me will also be in, uh we will be having the band the bit software inside we've of merged connect me. we've merged our developer owns connect me we own bitech as he's been building our business, we've been talking and collaborating and collaborating and talking. We got together and said, instead of having two different companies, <clears throat> we merged as one. Huh. So guess what? Y'all were talking to the first black owners of a new yes. industry. Yes. Okay? So not you only do you some? get board management, you also get the ability to run your businesses on Connect Me. There's so many different features that you're going to be able to use Connect Me for that don't even involve uh, me. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys. We have, we have the first black home. Okay. Never happened. So that never happened. None of that. The okay. app, the, yeah, they were, we were paying $85, but none of that other stuff they said have, was going to happen, happened. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's hear what else they dragged off face has got to say. <laughs> um, I'm not even calling it black on Zoom. We, got, we are just the black 
Okay, so was that a lot too? Did that ever happen? Did that ever happen? Did that ever happen? No, girl. So none of what they're saying, none of it. No, we pay eighty five dollars for some bush for nothing, right, babe? For for connect me. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's keep. Let's hear what else they has got to say. Has four thousand people, thirty one hundred people, thirty two hundred people in the waiting room. That's already a seven thousand participation. Also, mm-hmm. the fact that we've already got thirteen other communities who have already bought our software. Think about that audience that you get to put your merchandise or your business in front of as well. Okay, so see, this is what this is the type of stuff that they were feeding people, you all. And this, I wanted you all to see again. This is the type of stuff, and this is how she be talking, y'all. Okay. Yep. This manipulation. It's the, all it, about never, none of it happened. None of it happened. Mm-mm. So what? Just like you said, you they got forty million dollars in less than six months. They could have took one million dollars and just gave everybody their money back. That was that invested in this shit, and like you said, people all pay connect me. Way. People can pay connect me fee for four months. Okay, so the connect that, that connect me fee that's the same. That's the eighty five dollars, right? Oh, that yeah, t- so t- you t- times t- you times eighty five times eight thousand a month wow. for four months. You do that. Wow. And that was going to them. Wow. So yes, people did pay them money. And people didn't even want the refund on the Connect Me. What they wanted the refund was for the, what they paid to get. What the they put in. Them. They weren't even worried about the Connect Me. That, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, let's let's go back to it. Let's see. Hold on, y'all. So I did. Let's see what this other video. Let's see what Dre talking about. Y'all. Okay, that's the Ben Bible. That's what you was talking about since earlier, the Ben Bible, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Guys, to get it, and it's not that long, guys. It's not like it's doctrines and doctrines. It's really simple information, but maybe for some of you that need clarity on the policies and procedures the um, moving forward be enforcing our qc officers we're not playing with these people anymore a lot of the stuff that's been going down these past three weeks the, the 10 to 15 percent of this group that's been making it hard for the rest of us we're flushing them out we've always said we're an elite group we're going to moving forward make sure that we stand up on that and run according to that there's too many of us in here doing things the right way for the few people that are in here that are not doing things the right way to be holding the rest of us up we got to all covered on that we're not moving forward with that crap anymore and guess what the 85 dollars a month alone is going to make some people say i don't want to do this anymore and that's absolutely fine wow okay all right sis she <laughs> used to that little what, what? bitch <laughs> yeah <laughs> So the, yeah. so so what she was talking about was people complaining about wanting their money back. And so how you gonna sit up here and get mad about people complaining about their own hard on money? And then th- there goes the threats. It's the threats for me that if you don't, if you do something wrong, you're gonna get kicked out and not get your and not you get your money back thousand dollars. So at this point, with her saying all that foolishness, you lose <laughs> out on your six thousand dollars. Yeah, basically. So you can't say nothing. You just got to keep your mouth on social media. Nothing. None of that. You can't do shit. So toward the end, when they knew it was over, guess what? what? Now you can post on social media to get more people in. Mm-hmm. But it was done. They had gotten all the. They, they was done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then toward the very very end, they said they was doing a reset. 
and the reset was we're going to reset and we're going to start all over. Now, you may have to invest a little money, but at this point, the black people in the back and the front had woke up. Oh, yeah. Like, at that point, I people dare you, little bitch. Now, when this shit blew up, there were people going to their house. I mean, it got to where they had to hire bodyguards. I heard about they that. They live right down the street from me. Like they're they're they live in Prosper, mm -hmm. but they did. I don't think they live there anymore. But they were getting death threats. They kids oh, yeah. go outside. Well, her kids. So yes. it was real. It's still real. Oh, it's it's definitely still real, and this is why it was people it, driving from Arkansas and all mm -hmm. other parts to go find they ass. Yeah. Two of the people from the from this band app, you guys, that I'm sharing this information from, two of the victims reached out to me, and they were from Arkansas, mm -hmm. and they grew up with her. Okay, so they She's have from been from Conway, you know, Arkansas. Yeah, she's from Conway. Exactly. So check this out. Yeah, about the money. Um, yeah, of course about my money. Exactly. People are going to be upset about their money. They want their money. Like, what, what's going on? And this well, is why I paid for an update. But see, she got up. She didn't understand why the threats was coming to her and not Marla. Because she's the one who, who created this whole shit. What's, 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 what, what, what's she talking about? Like she told her husband online one day, you're not the one getting the threats. They threatening me. They not and my kids, me and my kids, not you. Like they're not living together in one house. Here you stupid. You see what I'm saying? This is all the this is the narcissist this is bitch have. I'm, I'm I, listen. Look at what the fuck he said. Check this out, y'all. Who is that? What's up, Dre? big family? What's up, big yeah. family? The moment you've been waiting for is finally here. That's right. The software is ready. Bintech, powered by Connect Me. We have three very simple steps for you guys to follow. First, you're gonna watch a Zoom call. Now make sure that while you're watching that Zoom call, you go to the chat, put your first and last name and the first and last name of the person that invited you. So is this when they initiated the $85 for that particular yeah. chat? That was their commercial. Their advertisement for it. Okay, okay. And so that was to get the people on board for that oh, app. Yes. That was the commercial that they did. Yes. Okay. Let's keep going, then, you guys. Let's listen to what how how. Let's listen to how they got people to pay this eighty-five dollars. Second, text the word fire to the number forty-seven forty-seven forty-seven. This will be where you set up your profile. And finally, you're going to download the brand app, search Bent University, and request to join. The Bent University is where you're going to go and prepare and absorb a little bit of Bent knowledge and culture while you're waiting to be placed on the board. So if you're ready to get Bent blessings in no time, join our community today. Bent! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. The nerve. The nerve, girl. The fucking nerve. Oh, it gets deeper than that. <clears throat> they have meetings sometimes. Like they had a Zoom call every when every Monday, Wednesday, or whatever for new people. Wow. Like if you were if you're invited, like if I invited you, Cynthia, mm -hmm. you had to go through the uh Zoom call. Then they would give you information. They would have swim parties. Like this is what they would have on like actual uh, scuba diving outfits because that's when the boards had finally moved and people were getting paid. Mm -hmm. And so they would do these Zoom calls with the, the potential new people. Like they would drop boards and move the boards on a night that they were doing a Zoom call. And so if I invited you and you saw that, right? Mm-hmm. You saw people were actually getting paid. Then that's I what mean, made you come aboard. Did you did you have did you get the text or something that I showed you for the board with the boards? Yes, I got that. I got the text messages. So is Quisha on here? 
Quisha is on. Um, yes, Quisha's she's in the she's in the chat. Quisha's in the chat. Latasha. Tasha's in was in the chat. My mom, yes, all my moms were in the chat. Oh, hold on. I got something here, you guys. This is some of the payouts. Hold on. Let's go. Let me see. Right here. What is that? This is some of the payout. Oh, so this this was actually their their account. Okay. Yeah, theirs. Yeah, right. they the money that they got. And That's that was on one one drop one payout yeah like not that was just one one round so they and basically you guys y'all see that's over 50 some thousand almost 60 that's over sixty thousand dollars just those two payouts right there twenty four thousand and thirty nine thousand six hundred fifty two dollars and twenty seven cents you guys that's that's marlin's because she's she actually had to tell him to transfer that money out some money out because she she got on live and said i had to tell my husband to move some of that money out of cash app because it wouldn't accept anymore yeah yeah so and that's so, some of their payouts you guys and oh, this wait, is all wait, i'm wait, saying wait. allegedly wait, but you listen, all see it for your I own for, eyes. i forgot to say this we found out they actually had fake um profiles wow yeah cash apps no 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 not cash apps you mean the not whole uh yeah they account. were pretending as if they were actual people oh wow but so explain dead. that sis explain so let me let me stop stop sharing this for a second okay. i want you to explain to the people of what you're what you're talking about explain that okay so me i'm a real person right mm-hmm I have a profile. I have an account. I can be on the board. I can get two fires underneath me. I can move to the earth, the wind, the fire, the water, and be paid out, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that they had fictitious people. They were creating fictitious accounts. Like straw purchases on a, like I'm on a mortgage loan. <laughs> I don't know if that, yeah. Well, they were like <laughs> creating... Like Tanya, like I don't have a twin sister, but I can create an account and say that that's who that is and put her on the board and, you know, have, and then she has a, a connect me profile and all of that. So if my, if my husband's twin brother pays my twin sister, they're not actual people. They're actually me being paid and my husband being paid. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how they were rolling. Okay, Ms. and Ms. Then, Parker. Yes. Let's, let's see if Miss Parker can come and see what what uh what is her thought. I just want some to hear someone else so that I I know that I'm not crazy or we yes. were stupid or whatever, but I sometimes feel like because I know better. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people probably said the same thing, but I'm not beating myself up because fourteen hundred dollars, like that's not a it's a lot of money, but it ain't fifty thousand dollars for sure. Exactly. It's not eight thousand dollars. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I just want to know what someone else thinks. Like, mm -hmm. would, would so sis, would you tell me? Would that be something that you would could possibly? If now that you see how organized everything is, mm -hmm. could you have possibly said this may be legit? And then you know the girl that's on Instagram. She's an Instagram model. Um. She now has a makeup line. She was on a show with Little Kim. Mm -hmm. um, she's an influencer on Instagram. You know when Inst when Little Kim had her little show that lasted one one few episodes or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, what is her name? She's she's got this saying that's kind of. I don't know. What you're talking about sis. Do you know who I'm talking about, Tasha? She's a hey, sis. How are you? Instagram influencer. How you doing? Um, I'm trying to. She I'm, always I'm, talking about she want a boyfriend. Like she said that she wanted a regular guy. Um, I don't know. I can't sis. think of her name. She's, she's very popular because Dre has a lot of celebrity friends, of course. Thoughts, so, sis. What's your thoughts? I'm baffled. Um, 
Hey, when y'all said people was pulling up to the house, so I told Queese, I was like, I was driving. I told my boyfriend, I was like, hey, type about my money. Yeah, about my okay. money. I said, this ain't just no thousand dollars. This is thousands of, nah, we, yeah. we not talking about no, you know what I'm saying? And that's, exactly. that's as silly as I can be sometimes about stuff like that. Money, you know what I'm saying? It's one mm -hmm. thing to do other stuff, but money, about our money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just Google them. You'll see the whole. And why would y'all do people? I mean, what would make y'all do people like that? Take yeah. people's the, their last. In the middle of a worldwide pandemic, when everything is shut the fuck down, you don't know what's going to happen next. A couple of people and could try to commit suicide. Like, and, it, and I think from what I understand, it may be two or three people that died. Like from A lot of people. Yeah, elderly. they did. Yeah, yeah. One of the people that reached out to me said that yeah, one of the people they committed they did commit suicide because they had lost their fucking life savings. Dang. I I was trying to I was trying to tell Quis was me and Quis was listening to a little bit of it, but you know to where did I mean when they find each other where did they find each other at to for you to even get on some stuff like that with a person like and where y'all up. Cause he was DJing one night. He, yeah, keep in mind he was from 106 in Park. That's DJ ASAP. Like he was well, and he's well known for 106 in Park. She prayed on his ass. You see what I'm saying? This all part of the manipulation that, that she did. And once she got his ass see, right, they, what she they're actually him? on Angela Yee. You know, Angela mm -hmm. Yee has the podcast. On um, Breakfast, uh, Breakfast Club. No, not the breakfast. They've been on the breakfast club, but you know, Angela, he has the after hour thing. Mm -hmm. She has a podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, they're on there. Did you see that? I didn't see them. I, I didn't see them on there. I it's, just saw them. You just Google club. Angela Yee, and then um, just Google Marlon Lashawn, and then Angela Yee. She has an after, like a after dark type show. We're oh, talking wow. about sex and relationships. Okay. They're so on they, there. Did they get away with the is 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 that what did they get away with it? So did they get away with that forty million? Shit, what you mean? Do they get away with yeah. it? Did you remember on set it off when uh what's her name answered? Did we get away with it? What you say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes, they got away with it. They have not been charged yet. This is what we're talking about and why, why people want an update. They want to know, are they going to get charged or not? Because at this point, it's over. A year has passed and nothing has happened to these people, you guys. I'm beginning to wonder myself. They're, they're on the lawsuit. If you look at all those three states I, I named, they're suing them. The um, FTC, the CIA, the internal rep, all the alphabet people, FBI, all of them. But who That's brought the charges was like the attorney general. Attorney generals of all of those states is who brought the charges against them. I mean, so you just get the get charges and get uh sued, and that's you just get the ride around free out for that. People losing no, that. No, it's it's, it's, mm -mm, it's not over. So what about the people that's taking their lives because of this? What about that? Yes. I know. Like, will they be charged for that? I mean, for real, I think people's got to start being held accountable for things like that. That's all I'm saying. Because at the end of the day, y'all, they did finesse people out, the, out of their money and they lied and said, you're, you're going to get your money back. This is what made people put their money in in the first place. Because they thought they would get it back. Mm -hmm. No, Quisha mm -hmm. asked, is there any criminal charges yet? No, not yet, but they're coming. Yeah, um, one of the this victims... Is, this did. is inside. Mm -hmm. that I know. So, the charges are coming. Tell them about the lady who met with the FBI last month. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, uh, last month it was. She said, I met because she traveled from um, California... <clears throat> To uh, meet with them because she's actually the initiator of the whole lawsuit. Um, and she said when she met with the detectives, the FBI agents, they were like, "Yeah, we we don't like the the, the uh, Moors." And um, she said he scared her because of how 
the, how things are about to go down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and so, yeah. therefore, there are charges that are going to be brought. Yes. It's just a yes. matter of time, and they are building a case, basically. Yes. That's what they're. That's what the FBI does. They build a case. They want it to be strong enough to where it sticks. They don't. FBI don't play with. They, if they on your case, they got something and they building. So you all, let me ask y'all this. So in that case, because now we have, we do have bodies involved with people that have committed suicide. Could there be a RICO charge involved with this? Maybe, maybe. Some type of racketeering charge. Whatever the is FBI is doing. Posh, what is, does the FBI, at RICOs are federal, right? Mm -hmm. So what other reason would the FBI be involved if they're not creating something like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be some kind of criminal charges against these people for this. Mm -hmm. This unaccept. I mean, do you have any other videos? It ain't like the people took their life. I get sometimes what they say about suicide and stuff, but somebody just took y'all all because you believed and trusted them. Exactly. And you then you're in a you're in the middle of a pandemic and you don't know what the future is going to happen right next. Now. You don't know what's gonna happen next. That's yeah, that's yeah. that's the whole thing. And yo all, they're even on on the app, and they were bragging. And I'm gonna let y'all see this for a second, y'all. We're gonna discuss this afterwards. They're bragging on here, you all. Check this out. Check this out here. Kind of choppy, right now, I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you guys, huh? No, it was well, kind of choppy because it's playing straight yeah, now. Yeah, go turn it up just a little okay. bit. Can you hear Tasha? Yeah, it's choppy. It's choppy. That's due to tripping y'all. You know how they do do that. They don't want us. They don't want nobody to hear this. I think he's basically you guys just about to show when he just got a payout. I think he's about to show another payout, you guys. Anyway, so uh, let me go to this. Let me go to this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Okay, I'm stopping right there. Y'all see those payouts? He's showing those payouts, you guys, on on his uh, phone. Can you all see the payouts? Not really, but what are they saying? You probably can see them better. What? Just say the numbers. What numbers are he showing? Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me take this out. Okay, so he's showing different people, uh, and then the payouts are on the side of the people's names of the different cash apps. He's showing names, and then there, are, you know, the payouts on the side of it. So that's to reassure people that there were payouts to make people really put their money in and get, you know, get on those boards. Basically, that's how they finesse a lot of people, you all. Yeah. Is that, is, that's basically how the boys work, right? Yeah, and, and see, that's yeah. what I think I see. You got to pay attention to a whole lot in profiles ain't, ain't people. You get what I'm saying? It's not. It's people made up. It's mm -hmm. people made up. So it can look like somebody's really investing and that stuff I even start reading on the Google Play. But so they really I, but they really were though. Seriously. Yeah. Those were real numbers. 
Yeah, yeah them are real yeah, numbers, but yeah. it's coming from other people's money. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But they just making it like somebody's investing in them when nobody, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the, that was that manipulation. Yes, absolutely, Donnell. Yeah, say pyramid scam. Top people get paid. Bottom people get hold in the bag. Exactly. That's exactly what happens. And it's, it's yeah, fucked up because well, at kept, the end of the they, day, they, they preyed on our community. They kept saying, we're not a pyramid. We're a crowd. That's what upset me. Yeah. yeah, that's what upset me. That they did our own people like this. This is, a, this is disturbing. Yes, very. That, it's, and it's what's really even disturbing. more disturbing. If you, it's, Tasha, if you, if you Google them and see exactly for yourself, like in, in your face, what was going yeah, I on. have to. I have to. And y'all know what 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 scam what up uh, y'all it's so many scams right now. I just never heard of these people. But I'll be looking at them and I, that's why I don't be <clears throat> my daughter did one uh got uh scammed out of a thousand in California for Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? I scammed, had a scammed out of an Airbnb. It wasn't even the people for one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can understand as quick as you can open a cash app, you can close it. You get exactly. what I'm saying? So, you know, and my friend, um, my friend Catrice had got uh, scammed in a house. She had uh, met the people at the house, showed her how to get in, looked at the house. She had put up $900 to these people. Go, she, she, done, she done broke her lease and everything by now. This is a just just beautiful home. Girl, come to find out when Duffy goes there, they great call the police on her because of course she's black. She's in these people's house. And um, they she's got the call from the people, but only because that's what they done. They knew the people in the mm -hmm. real estate were looking doing the properties for the people, and it was a big old scam. Get money, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People do that all the time. Have people meeting them at these at those houses, and then that's why you don't just go giving your deposit and in, in application fees to people that you don't know who you who they who they are. You know what I'm saying? Because they scam that all the time, all the time. I don't even do the good reviews, sis, y'all. I don't I don't care about the good reviews. You know what I'm saying? To me, everything technology is so high tech. Buy reviews. You can buy those. Mm hmm. You can. You can. So, yes, you guys recap. We're talking about LaShonda and Marlon, a.k.a. Dre Moore from 106 and Park, DJ ASAP. And also this, this couple was on the Oprah Winfrey Network, you guys, um, family or fiance. And of course, again, she deleted <laughs> that whole entire episode. And let's talk about that for just a second, you guys. Why do y'all think we all know Oprah don't play? But why y'all think she de deleted the and threw the whole damn episode away? <laughs> threw it away. She don't want anything to do with that. It's a brand. She's trying to protect her brand. When Oprah found out that this couple scam. The black community out of forty million dollars. Of course, she didn't want to have. Them. She didn't want that attached to her network whatsoever. So she hurry up and she deleted the entire episode. So you can only get bits and pieces of the episodes, you guys, from off of YouTube. But you can go to YouTube and you can type in Lashonda and Marlon Moore, family or fiance, and you will see bits and pieces of the show and the reason why i'm telling you all this is because you all if you go back and watch it you will see how she was able to manipulate him the way she did mm. speaks for itself you guys mm -hmm. it speaks for I, itself. I, i'm just mind boggled i mean i i just can't believe it she had the boy crying literally in tears because he broke his best friend's heart on the show for her. 
Y'all don't get it. This is how manipulative she was. And his own mama, and Quisha can vouch for this. If Quisha could come on here, she can vouch, vouch for this. His own mom, you guys, she says that <laughs> the Shonda basically sucked her son dry because her son used to brag about how every morning she would give him head. <laughs> So the, his mama said that's why she was able to uh, get him the way she did because she, she was so over there sucking my son dry. She sucking the soul out of well, him. Well, if, <laughs> if, if you look at that Angela, if you look at that Angela you thing I was telling you about, she's basically telling you that's what she did. Just all you got to do is go back and look at that. Just when you get off here. Go, go research them for Angela Yee. I think it's her After Dark show. Um, and mm -hmm. they're both on there and they're talking about their relationship, how they met, how they slept together the first night, blah, blah, blah. Um, how she's a nympho and how he's like, don't really like to do that all the time, but she gets mad if he doesn't. He'd be tired. Yeah. She done did it so much in the beginning, he tired. That part, and that's what his mama was saying. She she's sucking him dry, goddamn it! Every motherfucking morning she getting head jobs. It's, it's sucking the soul out of him, so he don't he can't even think straight. So and of course, everything. So that she guy said, that's um, do you have that video with the guy that's head of the uh, that's president of the um, uh, the Holbrook guy? Are oh, you talking about you're talking about Holbrook? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes. Hold on, he. Mr. Uh, and he's he's some kin to one of them, right? Allegedly. Franklin Holbrook. Hold yeah. on. Here he is. Here is Franklin here. Give me a second, you guys. I'm going to dumb down real quick. Take my dog out. No, go ahead, sis. We got you. Appreciate okay. you for coming on the panel as always. Appreciate you. Let me listen. I'm listening, though. Already. Okay, let's get to it. You are here's so every time you play a video, that's when it gets distorted. Okay, well, then that's what I won't play this video. Then let me go. I'm not going to play the video then, you guys, it's because YouTube, they do be tripping um, when you play certain videos for a period of time. So I'm just going to briefly tell you all, explain to you all who this guy is. This guy is um, one of their family members, and he's also the president of the, um, in his, in the Faulkner County NAACP. So this is coming back to, to what we were talking about earlier, you guys, with the celebrity, the status of the people they had involved in this pyramid scheme. They actually had high profile people involved. And this is how they were pulling people allegedly in, into paying that fourteen hundred some dollars during a damn pandemic. You all. And, that, and, that, and think about that for a second. You got celebrities out there trying to finesse you into, oh, trust them. It's okay. Y'all gonna get your money back if you don't uh, get a payout. You guaranteed to get your money back. So you had celebrities that were backing them up, you all. So uh, Tasha from Power, allegedly in a Tory, she was giving away the, the uh, different packages, power packages. How about now? It's okay now. Drop a one if the sounds okay, you guys. I need to know if the sounds okay before I proceed. You sound like a robot. The drop. YouTube is kind of distorting in a little bit. Well, we all know that when we are talking on certain topics, you guys, YouTube would do that. And I uh, have been experiencing that. Can you hear 
hear me now? Is this better, you guys? Is that better? Drop a one if it's better. The sound. Because we're gonna get rid of the end. That's better. Okay, cool. Okay, that's fine because we're getting ready to end the live anyway, you guys. Better. But to just to anything else that you want to add, sis, as far as you guys being the victims and just kind of encourage other victims yes. to come forth without being afraid stay to speak tuned. on it. <clears throat> well, stay tuned and know that um, it's not over with. Um, eventually, you will get. we will get our money back. Um, we signed a, uh, most people that know about the refund list. There's a refund list that's out that's been given to the proper authorities. And so we will get our money back. But, I mean, it's nothing to be ashamed about. It happened. I mean, if it was five mm -hmm. or six people, but with it being 8,000, 9,000 people, something had to have been said or done or believable for people to even invest that type of time and money. And mm -hmm. the selling point, and most people can vouch for me that was involved, was the refund policy that you were going to get exactly. your money back. So mm -hmm. um, it's nothing to be ashamed about. It happened. But yeah. know that just stay tuned for the um, for the um, updates that's going to be on the Scam app because there's an app that we all communicate with each other, Scam, And there's a lot mm -hmm. of things that cannot be said, but just stay tuned. Yes. Because before the end of the year, there will be some movement. Mm -hmm. There will. So there will. And, and, we'll and keep I you updated. Yes, we would definitely keep you guys updated. And this is why I most definitely had to do an update because I, I'm listening at you all send me the content. I'm listening to you guys send me. And, and when you send me the DMs, the people that are the victims, the actual people that are involved in this have reached out to me and I'm listening. So I'm going to keep you all updated. And as well, we're going to keep updated. The next show, you guys, is R. Kelly. We got back in the courtroom. We got updates that's going to be coming when they return back in the courtroom. So we have all these these Tasha two is in trouble. Cases. You see Tasha huh? Kay is in trouble. Yes. Tasha so that's what about wanna, R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about that for a sec. We're going to talk about that when we get to R. Kelly's the update because Tasha K unwind. I'm with Tasha K. I don't know if you guys, and this is all, I'm just, I got to put this out there. I got to say a little but it's not. It's all facts. Uh, Tasha K, she's a blogger, you guys, from YouTube. Um, she has a major big platform. I, I started out watching Tasha K. She's involved in the trial with R. Kelly because there was some information sent to her as a blogger. That's content that was put out there. I, I don't think and it was paid been put out there. She paid for it. the same way she did with Cardi B. Allegedly, this is how the lawsuit came about when Cardi B sued her. So again, we're going to talk about all of that in the R. Kelly update. Um, until next time, as far as these bent scamming asses, uh, Lashonda and Marlon, aka Drake Moore, we're going to keep you guys updated on this because we do want to see them brought to justice for everyone who has lost their money, their lives, their livelihood, the whole nine, you guys. Okay. So yeah, I want to thank, thank you sis for coming on the panel and again, sharing your story, you and your husband uh, being the victims of this couple. I appreciate all my sensations. Thank you all. Y'all pray for my family. Praying, praying, absolutely praying for the loss. Yes, praying, sis. And if you need me, you know, you know how to. I'm a phone call away. Pick up the phone. I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely, and I appreciate you. You have a great rest of the night, sis. Thank you. You too. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye. Okay, you guys, now 
I'm going to wrap this up. Absolutely. Yes. Salute to the panel. My moderators in the building. Salute. My daughter came in the mod. She's a mod as well. Uh, my sister Tasha, Tanya, I'm my mods. Uh, Quisha coming, rolling on in as usual. I appreciate all of you all. Okay. And, and until next time, you guys, um, we're going to get into some things. Bye.